Happy almost holidays. It's a wonderful time to be connecting with you. And this week I want to talk about receiving. This for me has been a really nice time. I've been finished up with my book tour for the most part up until until next year. And uh, I've been really just allowing myself to sit back and receive. And this is kind of the opposite mentality of my last video blog, which was the F it, let's go mentality, the let, let's go make that happen. But it's important to understand that we need to have a balance between our F it, let's go mentality and our feminine sit back and receive mentality. I, I find for myself much of what has gotten me to this place in my life now has been my masculine energy and tapping into that masculine of, of going out and doing. And I'm being called very much so lately to really tap into the divine feminine and start to really access that energy of receptivity and allow the birthing process of new projects to occur naturally and in slow, sometimes lovely speed that may not be the speed that we expect. And so I'm going to infuse this topic so that you can begin to learn how to marry the two energies. The energy of knowing when your intuition says, F it, let's go, don't let that fear block you anymore, jump out the door, let's make this happen. And the opposite energy that we need to learn how to hold, which is that receptive energy of allowing and receiving. And particularly around this holiday season when we have this opportunity to really receive, receive gifts of of community, receive gifts, literal gifts, whatever it may be, a, um, and receive spiritual gifts at this time as well, because we have this downtime to slow down and listen. And so The Course in Miracles teaches us that when we are asking for something specific and we are trying to make something happen, we are cutting off that receptivity. We are actually praying with the ego. And, and this is really important. I think a lot of people get hung up on this power of the law of attraction and manifestation. If I pray for that long enough and hard enough, I'll have that. And that's actually quite the opposite of what the Course teaches. The Course teaches us is to invite the Holy Spirit or, or our Ing, our inner guide, whatever you want to call it, to invite our Ing in to heal our wrong-minded perceptions and guide our thoughts back to the right mind. And so when we pray for a outcome, we're praying with the wrong mind. We're praying for our will. We're infusing our separation. We're seeing ourselves as separate from the natural order and therefore saying and, and enhancing that separation by praying for something that we think is of the best service for us. When we surrender and we release and we allow ourselves to receive guidance from our inner guidance system, from our internal teacher, from the Holy Spirit, whatever you want to call it, when we allow ourselves to receive that guidance, that's when we are truly co-creating, that is when we are truly listening, that is when we are truly receiving with a right-minded perspective, not trying to get what our wrong mind has projected. So I just want to be very clear, when you are praying this week, when you are setting intentions for the new year, when you are holding high visions, as much as I'd love for you to be clear about what it is that you want and what it is that you desire, the most important step is to release it and allow yourself to receive whatever is of the highest good and not necessarily your plan. Because remembering that our plan is deepening our separation from our connection to spirit. It's saying it's my will or the highway. And this is quite the opposite of what the Course teaches. So letting go, letting the universe do her thing. And you can, you can hold visions. You can feel the feeling of what it is that you want. But most importantly, let it go and receive. So that first part here is just becoming conscious of not trying to control our manifestations and our prayers and praying for the highest good and releasing that. And then the second step is to really genuinely slow down, hibernate, be still, and receive that guidance. So as much as I suggested you go out and F it, let's go last week, I'm now suggesting that you start to tap into that opposite energy of sit back and receive. Allow yourself to tune into that frequency of peace and serenity and trust and faith 
and know that that energy is what is allowing your inner guidance system to come forward and have a beautiful proper communication with you so that you can receive all the necessary steps that you need to take the next right action in whatever it is that you are here to do. So pray for the highest good, sit back, chillax, and receive, and then when you know you were supposed to F it, let's go, you can take that action. But uh, learning how to marry these two energies, and so I'm going to put these two videos next to each other so that you can have them at all times and know that part of you is here to take action, to take inspired action, to make things happen and create in this world. And there is a beautiful part of you that is here to sit back and as the Course says, you need not do anything and just allow yourself to receive internal guidance and then take the next right action. So these two can work really well together. Uh, receiving and when you receive that guidance then F it let's go. Alright so I hope that you are following these steps. Enjoy. If you have questions leave comments below and have a happy happy beautiful beautiful holiday. I hope you join me in January for my experience life lecture and for my lecture uh, in February as well for my meditating album and there's a great group coaching in January so I'll keep you posted. I hope to see you all have a beautiful holiday. Bye.